I hope none of the freeways are closed now. But how's everybody doing? So, have you been keeping up with Takashi's um, trial? Everybody acting like they surprised he snitched. I'm not. First off, when they grabbed him after he did that Breakfast Club interview, apparently they were tapping the phones. And remember, he was like, he's not affiliated with Trey Wayne. He found out they was uh, Shadi was stealing money from him and all that booking shows and charging all this money. And then I think the whole time when they would book him, he didn't even realize how much they were actually getting paid. So he called himself firing them and everything. And then the feds was tapping his phones and found out that they put a hit out on him. So I'm pretty sure that's why when he went to jail and asked him how long it took him to turn on the, on them, he was like, one day. Because they played the recordings and stuff because they were like, he didn't believe them. Now, but my problem with all this is they did all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he putting Jim Jones, Cardi B, all these other people in it? I'm talking about they members of the nine Trey Deuce gang. That's why I'm lost at. So he just dry snitching, making it juicy, thinking it's going to reduce his time. But at the end of the day, whatever deal he made, I'm pretty sure they wasn't um, included. So, I need y'all to make it make sense. But, I don't, yeah, my whole thing is, I don't know why people surprised. I saw it coming from a mile away. And even with the J. Prince stuff, when he was disrespecting J. Prince, <clears throat> and I ain't talking about J. Prince Jr., they say that's when everything started happening. You think he, do, he needed to do his research, and whoever was co-signing him, getting online, talking all reckless, they should have did it better. Because when he got on there with that J. Prince stuff, just like when the little boy throat got slashed. The one that Black China used to go with. I can't think his name. It was like when they had all these NBAs or YNBAs. I, I don't know. When his uh, throat got cut and they got online talking crap to J. Prince. But you see the next day, the same one that was talking to Noise, he was one of the ones that brought him the chain back. So, these youngsters be out here talking reckless. Y'all need to ask y'all, like, mama them, had they heard of these old people, OGs, whatever, when people trying to tell y'all something. It's like when y'all sampling songs they've been out before. Ask your auntie, your uncle, your mama. Like, oh, how this sound to you? And they're like, oh, yeah. I remember that back in the days when I used to go to such and such club. That's old school. You don't know nothing about that. And then that's when you know somebody that tried to sell you some stuff that's going to get you sued. But, yeah, I'm just surprised that everybody's shocked that he snitched. I'm not shocked at all. He was doing the most when he was posting all that stuff. When he went to O Block, that truck he was in was a police vehicle because they ran the license plates over there. So, I'm just not understanding why everybody's so confused. I think he was an agent the whole time, to be honest, because he was doing too much. He was doing too much. I think he was an agent. He got caught up. He did more than he was supposed to do. That's why his ass about to go to jail. But, yeah. And when they was doing all that recording, they heard them pull the plug. Once they heard them doing, putting their head out on him, they pulled the plug on the whole operation. And then just start picking everybody up. So tell me what you think. Were you really surprised after everything that had happened that he was on there snitching? Now, I'm surprised he just... Adding extras on there. I don't know why he threw Jim Jones in there. Because I think Jim Jones got a case that, uh, that's, um, he had recently, but well, it ain't recent, like a couple months ago, caught a case. And he caught it fighting her case. And like, he just throwing it all in it. He like, really, he on survival. He boating everybody off the island. Any, any, anybody he think they can keep him, you know, out of jail, he throwing them in now. So what, tell me what you think about his snitching. It's funny to me because I'm not even surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm just surprised about all the extras he, you know, he had the extra people that ain't had shit to do with the case. I guess those little bonuses. I, I don't know. This is just crazy to me. 
Well, tell me what you think. And guess I'll make another video when I actually do get to work. Cause yesterday they said they left work at 2:30, so I'm gonna see what it's looking like today. And I know I'm gonna get out of work like seven, eight o'clock at night. So yeah. All right. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back later.